What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Torian Rain Reloaded channel. If you are new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video or go live. Also be sure to comment, like, and share this content as well as my other content on your various social media platforms. So here we are again, about a week or a little over a week later out from what happened in Buffalo, New York. And now we have gone from the upper northeast coast down to the midwest and now we are dealing with what's going on in texas with this individual right here but i'm gonna go ahead and play this little bit of audio so you can get a little bit of an understanding of what's going on a short time ago governor greg abbott confirming the number uh, we sadly reported on earlier uh, 14 children he confirmed have been killed in this shooting along with a teacher at Robb Elementary School in the Uvalde uh, district there. The alleged gunman is also dead and we have just uh, received an image of that gunman, 18 years old. Our investigative reporter Aaron Katursky with me now. Aaron, what more do we know about uh, this uh, suspect who is now dead, believed to be a member of that community and that school district? Indeed, David, he's identified by the governor of Texas as 18-year-old Salvador Ramos, a student at Uvalde High School, and he is believed to have shot and killed his grandmother before entering Robb Elementary School and opening fire with a firearm that has not yet uh, been made clear, according to police. They're still trying to track down the weapon. Shot and killed 14 elementary school students along with one teacher, and law enforcement sources tell us, David, that the suspect, 18-year-old Salvador Ramos himself, was killed there at the scene. And Aaron, again, Salvador Ramos believed to be a student in that district. A student in the very community uh, where he opened fire, it's believed, according to police, a student at Uvalde High School. Whether he was still going to classes or whether he had stopped going hasn't been made clear. But according to the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, Salvador Ramos is or was a student at Uvalde High School, the very community where Robb Elementary School is located that came under fire by this gunman after he had shot and killed his grandmother. Authorities are now trying to go through his background to see what connection he may have had to that elementary school. They're also trying to run down social media and find any potential friends or acquaintances just to see if there were any accomplices or anyone else who may have had an inkling that this shooting was about to come, David. Okay, so y'all just heard that right here. It's crazy how all of this has played out. This is like it just happened. I'm actually recording this on May 24th, 2022. And all of this was reported, shoot, probably less than an hour ago. Like, it's crazy how all of this just kind of sprung up. It's, it's interesting how we're just coming off of what happened in Buffalo. And now we have this. Then, of course, you know, I'll, I'll just throw it in there because it was a shooting. What happened in California at that time when he's church that they just don't want to talk about, but I'll bring it up. And I know why they're not going to bring it up, but it is what it is. And then you have this right here. And it's crazy because just like Peyton Gendron, this guy, Salvador Ramos, is 18, just like Peyton Gendron. It's wild. And they both pretty much, you know, shot up a, a place where people just are doing regular everyday things. And, you know, Peyton Gendron's, his was definitely racially motivated. We don't know what the motive is of yet when it comes to him. But the fact that this guy, first, he killed his grandmother. You heard it in the audio. He killed his grandmother before he went and shot up a, a, a elementary school. He shot up an elementary school and killed four teen children i believe they say he killed a teacher and i believe some others were injured as well this guy went on a bloodbath a true massacre much like what peyton gendron did last week and like i said we don't know what motivated this individual to do what he did it's still like i said it's still a developing story because they're still going to try to figure out what motivated him to actually do stuff like this because there's still stories just popping up as time continues and now i'm looking at this recent update because i refreshed my page and it says texas governor says 15 killed so somebody died 
just recently. As I'm recording this video, someone has just reported as passing away. So I don't, I'm not sure if they're including him in with the ones that died or they're keeping him separate. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's some wild stuff going on down there in Texas. And, I, you know, I always say Texas is seen as the NRA's favorite state. Like, they have access to weapons real easily down there, like guns and everything like that. And this is not me taking a shot at the Second Amendment. Always protect yourself. And now, now it's going to bring in the question, are kids going to, I'm not kids, are teachers going to be allowed to have firearms in the schools? Now, this was a topic of discussion a few years ago. And I think I had talked about it either on this channel or my original channel. That's how long ago it was. Where they were questioning, should teachers be allowed to have firearms in the classroom just for protection? Because you just never know. And at the time, I was like, uh, I'm not sure how that will work. Because what if a teacher slips up one day and they don't have their, their gun locked down and one of their students gets a hold of it? You know, what they play with and think it's a toy or they take it. And that was that. And that was then. But looking, you know, with, since then in everything that has transpired since then to now, I think they may need to revisit that because who knows? Th these teachers can possibly, you know, stop someone like him. And keep in mind, he went into an elementary school where there are kids age from like five to 10. I think that's the elementary school age range is like from five to 10. Most of the people he killed were those kids. One teacher, which begs the question, what made him target those kids? What did the kids do to him that made him want to do what he did? He didn't go after the adults. Most of the ones that he killed were the kids, you know, innocent children that could not defend themselves. Don't remember what I told y'all about soft targets. But he killed one teacher. Maybe it was a teacher that was trying to protect the kids and he got that he or she got in the way and he just killed them or that he they were in his line of sight and he had to find a way to take them out. And that's exactly what he did. Now, of course, the difference between him and Peyton Gendron, besides, you know, the obvious similarities is that he's dead and rightfully so. But Peyton Gendron, unfortunately, is still alive. If you want to be honest with me. You know, if you want me to be honest, both of them should have had the same fate for what they did. And if it, this was a perfect world, neither of these incidents would have happened, period. But, yeah, like I said, this is still like an ongoing uh, developing story. They like I said, they're going to try to figure out what the motive is. But I can't think of one. You know, dead men don't talk. We don't know if this guy wrote a manifesto like Peyton Gendry did or what his motivations were. After all, the first person he did kill was his grandmother. So they can start there. What happened in his home or wherever, like if he didn't live with his grandmother or maybe he did, what happened in that home prior to him leaving and going up to that school and what made him go to that school in particular? Keep in mind, he's 18. He would have no kind of ties, so we think to this school he would be in high school getting ready to graduate if he just turned 18 he should have been ready to get ready to graduate so it makes you wonder what made him go off like that and i'm sure that they're gonna come out with that sooner you know you know a little bit down the line probably not that far now i thought what was interesting is that how fast they revealed or gave up his not so much gave up but um put out his identity because when it came to paying gendry Gendron, it took what a two days, I believe, before we no, it didn't even take that long. I take that back. We did find out that day who it was, but it took a couple of hours before we found out who he was. With him, it was immediate. Like we found out immediately who he was. Like I didn't have to wait for an hour or two, like I did with Peyton Gendron, to find out. I found out literally within the same time frame of this being reported. But this is very, it's devastating. Can you imagine being a parent and you get in a call to the school 
Number one, to find out that a mass shooting happened at your child's school and then worse, finding out that your child was probably one of those casualties. That's wild. But this guy, as far as I'm concerned, is exactly in the place he needs to be. Like I said, unfortunately, dead men don't talk. And if he didn't leave anything saying why he did what he did, they may never find out why he did. But they said they're trying to like find any social media accounts that he has to see if there's anything that could clue them in on what or why he was doing it. Maybe see if they can find out where he purchased the firearm from, because I believe they said he had a handgun. And I think he had an assault rifle. So. Yeah, he he was going he 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 was going in there to literally turn into Rambo, and that's exactly what he did. On some innocent children, and just innocent people, you know, even the adults, like they didn't deserve that. But again, what made him? And I'm gonna ask you, my, my audience, what without even knowing his motives, what do you think, or why do you think he decided to target this school? Like, what made you think, what do you think made him go to this school in particular? Because at least with Payne Gendrick, we already know why he did what he did. What made you think, what goes through your mind of why you think he went to this school in particular to go and shoot it up? Because like I said, most of the victims were children. One was an adult teacher. And it might be, who knows, it might be some more casualties by the time this video goes up. I don't know. Hopefully not. But 14 children, that is a lot of kids. That is a lot of children, a lot of lives lost because of this now deceased psycho. Well, it looks like I, you know, after searching through the web and, you know, going through different things, heavy.com, of course, you know, they be on it. Y'all know I love to go on heavy.com when it comes to certain things such as this has come out and released some additional information about this Salvador Ramos character. But I also found some other things as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to post it because uh, I was watching someone else's live stream when they were talking about it. But the picture was from a, a, a TikTok that he had where he was holding magazine clips then and he left this cryptic message in the bio where he said kids aren't safe R I R L, which stands for in real life. Yes. Yeah. This guy is absolutely off the chain, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on heavy and pull up what they said or what they were talking about. And it was posted May 24th, 2022 at 542 PM. It says Salvador Ramos was named as the 18-year-old suspect in the mass shooting at Rob Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, that left 14 students and a teacher dead. And let me correct myself. When they said 15, they were talking about the teacher as the 15th person. I'm thinking that another person died, that that was the teacher. They were keeping the teacher separate from the students. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said in a news conference that swift action was taken by law enforcement at the scene of the mass shooting, but it was too late for many children. The shooter is no longer alive. The shooter was Salvador Ramos, an 18 year old male who resided in Uvalde. Then the, and I'm not going to show it on here, but somebody posted up a video uh, like a five second video of what looks like someone recording from a distance of him entering the school It's a real quick. It's a really quick clip. And literally, he's just going into school. You kind of got to look at it because he's behind like a uh, like some pillars or something like that, something that's blocking him. But you can clearly see that someone's holding a an assault style, uh, assault style weapon, weapon, excuse me. Going into the school. Easy, real easy. It says Ramos entered the school with a handgun and possibly a rifle. The governor said he shot and killed 14 students and killed a teacher. Mr. Ramos, the shooter, he himself is deceased and it is believed that responding officers killed him. Two responding officers were struck by rounds but have no serious injuries. The motive is still under investigation. Evald is now one of the nation's deadliest elementary school shootings. 20 children and six staff members were killed in Sandy Hook school shooting in Connecticut. That suspect, Adam Lanza, also murdered his mother which I said earlier in this video where he murdered his grandmother. Um, 
I'm going to skip down a little bit because they're starting to mention some things that I uh, already mentioned before. This is authorities are exploring his connection to the school and are working with a name and scouring social media. And I already gave y'all one with the uh, with that TikTok. Uh, they says, or maybe it wasn't a TikTok. I think it was an Instagram page. Excuse me. This is heavy is working to verify an Instagram page that some believe was the shooters. It contains pictures of weapons and the user followed Uvalde High School students. The page was taken down shortly after the shooting, but it has not been confirmed. And I believe that's what I was talking about just a couple minutes ago. Videos emerge of people running out of the school. Videos also captured the heavy law enforcement response to the elementary school shooting. And that's pretty, you know, pretty much it as of right now. I'm sure that they're going to they, then they go back and go through a timeline of when he entered the school, when the shooting happened. And I'm not going to go through all of that, but I'm pretty sure they're going to, you know, break it down what his motive was, if they can find that out. Because remember, dead men don't talk. I said that already. But yeah, for now, that is my take on it.